The star entertainment personality of 2019 is Brian Omolo. AKA Calligraph Jones. He gives us a close look at his music, family and controversy. We be happening, what we be happening? Calligraph Christoph, we be happening. We be happening, what we be happening? So from we be happening, Christoph, definitely, he was out here more than me in terms of connections. Because I was from Kayole, me, I didn't know anybody. I used to be very good at what I'm doing, but I didn't have any connections. I didn't know nobody. Christoph used to know, like, in a fresh out. You know those guys, he was a clean guy. Like, that nigga was on another level. So, Christoph introduced me to um, STL. And um, STL told us, uh, told us that, um, she wanted to do the remix of the track because the track was recorded um, like before we released the actual remix you look at Mero Cordio like three, two or three years prior so we recorded at that time when we were recording I didn't link up with STL all these um, things happened via the phone um, the files were sent, the song, I laced my verse Christoph did the same, we sent it back to STL and I could talk immediately, by the way. If you can turn another one year before you talk it. Yeah. So after one year, that's when Stella came back. She was coming back to Kenya because she resides in um, Norway. Norway. So she was like, I'm coming back, I'm pulling up, and I want to do um, video, a video, the visuals for the song. So she came back, um, and we did the visuals, and we put the song out. And I, I'd say from then, things drastically changed. For the better, yeah. In 2012, I was 22. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had just keep on grinding, man. You know, I wouldn't try to change nothing. Cause if I did, then I wouldn't be the person that I am right now. Oh no, no. I believe. God has elevated me to a position where, uh, you know, I'm a person of influence. If I say anything right now, you know, a lot of people are going to listen to me, you know. And all this was made possible through the stuff that I had, I went through back in the days. So, if I was to go back and advise myself, Ugo, some, I don't know, what that, that's like what, nine years or eight years ago. And yeah, bro, be on your hustle, keep on doing what you're doing, and God is going to open doors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Apart from that, what, what are some of the challenges you also underwent when you get it made clear? And I'll say this very openly. Before Calligraph, I blow up kwa industry ya Kenya. Hakujai kwa namse kama mimi. In the sense that um. You know, normally there, is a, there was a certain way um, that you had to present yourself, uh, like package yourself as an artist, as a musician. There are people you had to know, and um, you know all that. But mini likuja freestyle. Like I, I was, I was dissing people back to back. I was an upcoming artist, and I was dissing people. Like if you would cross me, you know, the wrong way. I throw a diss track to you. I wouldn't hesitate. I didn't. I didn't care if you are a person of the me at you go respected in the industry. That I never cared about that, and um, that's how I built my career as a as a musician and as a rapper. So niki sama hakuna mse ashay kujja vanyemi ni mekujja. Simanishi that I have been the best rapper. I'm not trying to insinuate that. Though even if you ask me, I tell you I believe I'm the best at what I do, but I'm not saying it's, it's, it's not general. See general opinion, you know, na. Yeah. Like in the kwa industry, the minute I I say this on a song called Yago, uh, since I debuted on the scene, they knew I was gonna be a rebel. Nilingia kama rebel. I rebelled, and bad though because of the talent that I possess they had no option but to open the doors for me so i i made my way through the industry i was not sequel again so yes i worked with like in stl and all those but uh, in terms of um 
just basically the way I packaged myself, I never dumbed down my my personality to fit, you know, people's expectations. I was the OG when I started, and I'm the OG right now. And I, I think that's why you know Sewengi. Like we've had other successful rappers and musicians in Kenya, but to Kiona Sewengi, all of them are talking to us. We nani. My journey has been seen. It's been visible to very many people's eyes. They've seen me from Malinilianzo, Leone Kingangana, Wanaona Tuni Kikua, back in Africa point where I'm the biggest artist in East Africa. I'm not even going to say Kenya. You saw that. They have an award out there. They gave me that. Exactly. So, what Wanaona Takua Mimi? So, Mimi Yani, Mimi Kwa Tu OG from the beginning, and I'm the OG till right now. If I have something to say, I'm not going to back down. I'm gonna say, put it out there. And that's why back of our to come out in a DJ Pinion on Anga Badona and be like, hey, nee, nee, nee. Because I feel like those are statements that have to be, you know, thrown out there so that the people understand how it was before and how it is right now. And for them to know how fortunate they are that people like me had to go through what I went through for them to have it. Oh, I could also, me. Out of all the successful musicians we've had in Kenya, if there is an artist who's worked with up and coming artists the most is Calligraph Jones. Me, I don't discriminate. And I work with people on the basis of talent, not the, you know, the amount of followers, the number of followers you have, the amount of money you got. No. Come up on a talent, now come on go in a position whereby I can put you on the spotlight. Then definitely I will do that. Now there's a guy there asking me, okay, oh, that you support. Sometimes people like telling people I can't help everybody as much as I want to. I don't I am I am limit I don't have the uh, all the resources to be putting out there so that to see everybody become successful. But sometimes if this helps me as a kupati advice, if you come on a mziki, zidi kufanya, and kuskuma, be patient, have discipline, and then everything else will work out. Yeah. yeah. You've mentioned about being a rebel in the industry. How important is that to your brand? Is it important? It's important because I because I believe when there are issues that have to be addressed, they, they would they will not tell you this, but a lot of these people will call yo calligraph, have you seen um Nini Nini Bubuadona when of Nakujuanga on Ganga? That's me. That's that's my nature. Yani, it's some it's inbuilt. It's not something that I that I nini need to yak up for for the camera. That's just me. So I believe I play a very big role, like you know, in the industry. Because what do with my character, with my personality, people who are afraid of speaking out. They come to the OG and I'm gonna speak out on their behalf. If they have issues that make sense, nice of issues based on any effect. So I'll definitely put it out there the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. And of course you've been so vocal on the play Kenyan music hashtag. Yeah. Mm. Do you think it has bought fruits? Yeah, I believe we've 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 made proper strides into achieving success as far as that goes. Because um it's it's been less than a year and of that debate. Gangeton was birthed. Gangeton came off that, you know, you know. And right now, I'd say it's like one of the strongest waves in in, in the the local the Kenyan music industry. We have kids, all these kids who are making these songs, like from um, uh, the, the kids who want um, uh, sailors, to gonna sailors, to gonna the the original real pioneers of Gangeton, well, all the Shai movement. We want to make our ethic. Unaona, to go na chunglo, to go na who else is there? A Rico gang, to go na kina the only Delo. Like we have a lot of these people who are coming up, and and and, and it's zero. Can't forget about zero, man. I like that kid. And he now near Shani that when we started that um, campaign, I'd say we we've, we've been able to see the rise of. You know a lot of these young you know musicians coming up and i i can't say we are perfect but at least to me because not like yo but then they are doing this let's let's strive for perfection we can be perfect at yamini 
let's watch out to watch to to watch again as they have to accuse and then and everything is going to be how it's supposed to be but i can say of that campaign kenyan music is on another level right now yeah do you know do you know buddha i tell you come be buddha i have got kenya see not to make a video one week at okay the south africa matter nigeria unapata one week unatoa video that's when they get like 100,000 on and these are big names in kenya we have acha kina say na sio kina they chuck a video today in one week that video hits 1 million views legit views kenya you know you know kitu peke yake you know that's how strong the way it is right now in kenya yani ni normal your design so tuko sawa yani na tunaendelea vizuri let me 